is it time to reveal your real magic and become seen, known and valued? So, welcome to this week's Visionary Voices Deep Dive and today we are talking about activate your inner magnet and if you're new here if we haven't met before hi I'm Rina Aiken I'm a visibility deep dive mentor and uh, I, I love to help soulful business owners creatives and um, healers coaches to really activate your visibility and clear what's in the way so you can show up and share your gifts and if you don't know about me, I'm somebody who has overcome decades of debilitating shyness where being visible was the last thing that I ever wanted to do in my life. And um, so it's um, kind of ironic to me that this has become my work. And I just want you to know that I get it. I totally understand what it's like to be scared of visibility or you know feeling the stretch of the next level and um, that's calling you so today I want to talk about activating your inner magnet because my approach to visibility is all about energy and energy never lies you're either attracting um, or you're repelling you're kind of saying energetically I actually don't want people to come in or there might be a push-pull going on. So I'd love to hear what you resonate with. Uh, if you're watching us, just post hello or replay in the comments uh, and where you're uh, watching us from. And what is it that you resonate with this topic? Because with, I know for me, visibility work, if you're running a business or promoting a project, can be very busy work. And it's easy to get busy doing all the things, um, all the, the tech stuff, all the planning and promotion um, to you know, attract people in that you want to reach, but then be energetically unavailable to actually you know, really let them in to your heart, your soul um, of, of the magic of what you offer. So um, that's even if you've got a big calling, you're very devoted. I know people who have invested years and tens of thousands and so much energy. And it's like, oh, I want to be reaching people. I want to be sharing my message. I have this calling. And yet there's stuff going on under the surface that's, um, that's blocking them. Um, sometimes they're aware of it. Sometimes they're not. So I'd love to know what your experience is. And in this training today, what I want to share with you is to have a deeper understanding of that, of how your energy is working to attract or repel the people that you want. It doesn't have to be the whole world, but the people that you would like to um, invite in to go deeper with you. And then get clear on who those people are. Get energetically clear. Who are you inviting in? You know, who, and who do you actually want? Um, say no to because that's also important because sometimes you might not be energetically open because you kind of think oh there's all these people out there that I don't want to be open to it's like you get to choose you get to choose um, and then the the next part is about um, I'm going to lead you through an experience to really connect with your inner magical world and you know and see see what level your magnetism is at how open is your energy field so i'll be leading you through an experience and um, for that so you might want to um give yourself a little bit of breathing space as you watch this to actually go through that experience and get the the benefits um from that because you might notice you might even be aware of your energy is opening and closing and that's okay it's natural uh, it's natural to kind of go, I'm, I'm switching off now. <laughs> I'm going into my cave. I'm reading my book. Um, you know, it's, it's really good to have downtime. But then it's like, well, is it open when you want it to be open? You know, when you're um, really wanting to put yourself out there. And that can be 
when um you know the uh, interference the energetic interference comes up so um because it can, it's it's a very terrifying thing i know it has been for me uh, and it still is when i'm going to the next level to actually open your energy field and invite real humans in to your sacred inner world it's a very precious invitation it's not something to be given lightly and when we honor that in ourselves and honor the energetics of it um you know it, it's a, it really helps to melt those terrified parts and frozen parts that are kind of going that's too scary i actually just want to keep people out so tell me in the comments, what's your experience about this? How magnetic do you feel? And when do you feel most magnetic? You know, when do you feel unsure if you actually want to let people into your world? What is it that you're already aware of about this topic? Because, you know, what often comes up for people is, you know, that a lot of our energy is caught up in um not feeling good enough like these fears i'm not good enough what will others think you know who am i others will think i'm a fraud um that you might be that the carrying the sting of criticism you know i showed up this time or those that number of times and attracted in um criticism um from you as well there might be memories there of public humiliation uh, I know school and families and <laughs> yeah, performances can be very good for at uh, you know creating ways that we've um, we're going to go oh let me not do that again so you know and that can all lead to this this feeling of being horribly exposed and so you know we want to protect ourselves so it can be like yeah I want to be out there but I actually don't and so there's a push pull going on that's actually not energetically allowing people in and how that can show up is in procrastinating is in i want to do this but i'm resisting and it's a really strong resistance um or i'm going to get distracted and do this other thing instead so that's that's how it can happen um and you know one of the things i noticed when um i went through this process and i'm going to lead you through myself it i was still working as a CEO and setting up my coaching business. And I was kind of in the spiritual closet. Uh, a lot of my staff and colleagues didn't know the depths of the transformational work that I did on the side uh, and was, you know, leading into, you know, they knew a little bit, but not a lot. And so there was nothing, you know, public online about it. Um, I wasn't really out there with it. And I was really afraid that, oh, you know, my professional colleagues and staff are going to think I'm woo-woo uh, and weird and, um, you know, not think me as flaky rather than, you know, professional CEO. So, and when I got to the point of wanting to, to really charge money, for my coaching services, I realized that I had to come out of the closet with my magic with my intuition with my years of experience of delivering transformation uh, which I was doing in my as a CEO job as well but just in a different way there and I actually literally saw myself in a wardrobe that was brown and wooden and full of you know coats and a little bit musty and and, and the terror of opening that door and coming out into the world with this precious um, magic and gifts that I've been hiding away, it was really intense. Um, and as we go through, I'll, I'll tell you more um, of the story. But first of all, I want to help you get, um, get clear um, on who you're inviting in. You know, who are the people you want to invite into your inner world, this inner world um, that you would like to, you know, be visible with? And who is it that you actually want to repel? So just take a moment to tune in as to who is 
Who are the people? Who is it that you want to invite in? If you were to imagine those people coming into your energy field and coming in closer, you know, who is it that you work with? Or who would you love to work with? Um, it might be who you're working with now. It might be evolving into something else. So just tune in. Who is it that really is here for you? So for me, it's evolved over the years from professional women to business women, now to visionaries um, and transformation leaders. So just check in with who is it that you're inviting in and who are you clear that you're not for? Just be really clear. If you were imagine, you know, that you're in a room and it's filling up with your perfect people and you can, you can put an energetic barrier at the door that's not allowing in the people who it's not for. And just allow yourself to, you have permission to invite in those that are for you. So beautiful. That's gorgeous. And so the next step in this is, you know, connecting with the magical inner world that you want to invite them into. So just taking a moment now to imagine that you are transported to a beautiful space. And it's a space in which you want to, first of all, infuse it with your energy really infuse it with your energy and this space it could be a clearing in a tree it could be a magical uh, or in a forest <laughs> clearing in a forest it could be a tree house as well and um, it could be a magical retreat center it could be a yurt it might be a meadow it could be a beach but just really sensing that this is a safe place inviting in um, beings of love, the energetic beings who support your work, your guides, you know, feeling that they're present with you in this sacred space. And just looking around, this is your playground. This is where you want to invite your, your playmates. What does it look like? What does it look like? What does it feel like? Maybe there are tools there. There might be chairs, blankets, cushions, instruments, um, you know, healing magic. You know, you can make it. There might be a pool. Um, what are the colors that's there? What are the supportive um, objects that are there? Um, you know, what's in the room? And really sensing, oh, I can make this whatever I want. I can call in the music. I can call in the support team. And really sensing all the support that's there for you and that you can create and continue to evolve the sacred inner space. Uh, and, you know, and I do suggest this as a practice to keep coming back and feeling this is my magical inner world. This is what I'm inviting people into. And so before you invite those people in, just want you to check how open, how open is your inner world? Are there entrance points? So it might be doors, it might be windows, it might be clearing in the forest. So are there, where are the entry points and is there space for people to enter? And, and how big is it? It might be an intimate space that's just perfect for a small number of people. It might be a stadium that's open to thousands or anything in between. Oh, and just sensing how comfortable are you with um, inviting people in? How many people? Do you want to come in? And do you sense that you're being called to stretch? 
or maybe you're being called to um, keep the numbers small and you want to trust that. It might be that it's a beautiful space for one-to-ones that you, one person at a time is coming in and that's what feels good for you. So really just sensing and knowing that you can work with this, you can ask your guides to create um, energetic protection at the entrance points to allow in your perfect people and to make it clear to people, other people, that it's, you know, this isn't for them. So just ask for that support as well. So this is your creating your magical inner world and you're just imagining your guides who are there with you, what's in the space with you, what energetic tools are there to support you. What does it look like? What does it feel like? How many people are coming in? Is it a big stadium or an intimate space for a small number of people? So this is how you can amplify your inner magnetism by knowing that you, your energy field is clear and clean. You know who you're inviting in. You know how many people is the right next step for you to invite. You can shift and create this inner world to invite people into um, as you want. So when you're feeling complete um, with that experience of opening up your inner world and amplifying your inner magnetism, just come back into the space here and share with me what you experienced from there. I'd love to hear from you. When I went through this process, I went from being in um, a brown, very cramped wardrobe full of coats to stepping out uh, and creating a beautiful, um, you know, it wasn't big at that time, you know, but, a, you know, a lovely intimate room. It had lovely high walls. The windows were high up. There were images of spiritual beings and, um, you know, uh, just this kind of energetic support all around me. And it felt very safe. And there was a big tree that was also a chair that I could sit in. So I could sit there. I could ground into the earth. I could connect up uh, and I could welcome in my people into this very safe space that had these uh, that felt very safe and protected. And over the years, that's opened up and now it's much more, you know, concert hall, stadium kind of a level. It has evolved, um, but it's beautiful to evolve it at your own stage and to, you know, really make sure that there are doors and windows, that there are energetic openings for people to come in to your magical world. So beautiful. So we've got some comments here. Hi, Davia. Uh, Jenny, recognize all the busy work and we've got repelling and having repelling energy from overwhelm. That's a really good um, point, Jenny, because when we're overwhelmed, you know, it's actually a good protection mechanism to um, keep people out. Um, you know, we're not receptive to people. So even though, and I've had this experience before uh, in doing a launch where I'm just so busy creating that I'm actually not energetically available for the people I want to invite in. Um, so loving taking time to realign at the moment my magnetism comes and I feel clear and rested. That's such beautiful insight that the, the magnetism comes when you feel clear and rested. Thank you, Jenny, for, for sharing that because that is a, a beautiful way to um, activate your inner magnet is to you know be rested be receptive and kind of go yeah I can I have the capacity to invite people in so beautiful so if you like this um I think you will love the the potent present challenge that we're doing next week we're going to be going deep um here in the visibility for visionary leaders Facebook group over five days there'll be lots of exercises there'll be lots of visibility challenges each day 
to step into and some po potent poetry activations as well. So if you're interested in that, let me share the link with you here. We're starting next uh, Monday. That's the um, 9th of May to the 13th of May next week. And I would love to see you there. We're going to be really activating our potent presence so that we can you know, amplify and simplify your visibility. So you're not kind of busy doing all the things, but you're really um, resting and then blossoming when you're ready in ways that are very potent, very magnetic, and uh, inviting people into your world because you have that energetic capacity. Um, exploring that uh, next week. So I hope to see you there and uh, bye for now. Have a good